I was gonna do like a quick like good morning everybody like check us out on James's show and we have a new episode but not, I was too tired <laughs> I had no energy today none whatsoever okay let's see thank you ready no. oh hang on my head's itching okay I'm good Hi, everybody. Tommy here, along with Aaron from Queers and Soaps. Let's do that again. <laughs> I'm so used to the way you normally say it. That <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to do the lovely co-host thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Queers and Soaps. I'm Tommy, and as always, joined by my lovely co-host, Aaron. Hello, everyone. Now, I know you guys saw our live reactions for Beyond Salem, and you may have seen our Twitter spaces. We made an appearance on Dish and Days, giving a few thoughts. But now we're going to have our own little discussion about the entire series. Mm -hmm. What we liked, what we didn't like, what we wish would have happened, what we love that happened. So, I'm going to say something controversial, and... I love the new opening, and I kind of wish it was the new opening on the main show. I mean, I know some people don't like it, but is it controversial? Okay, maybe it's half and half. (laughs) I feel like it's controversial if you don't like it. Uh, But I know I'm talking about replacing the main one. Uh, I want Deidre Hall on the main show saying, like, sends to the hourglass. No, that's that's controversial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm probably going to get some hates on that, but there's You're going to make us lose subscribers. (laughs) Shut your warm it's just my one little <laughs> opinion. I just, I've always, her voice, I've always loved her voice. It's very soothing. Yeah. And I just, I, a lot, like, I associate Deidre Hall with Days of Our Lives in a lot of ways because I wasn't a, really a, watching when Tom Horton or <clears throat> what's his name? McDonald Carey. Yeah. Tom, I just know him as Tom Horton. You know, was, you know, I wasn't really watching when he was on there. Gotcha. I mean, I I, I've only seen it going back and watching it. And even that, what I've seen, it was like the tail end of his run. So. Yeah. So that's why I just like, I don't think of him when I think of days, but I think of, you know, Kristen Afonso. Did I say her name right? Christian. Oh. You said Kristen. Oh. <laughs> that damn name, Kristen. And then Deidre Hall. Like, I think of those two when I think of days. Yeah. So do I. I feel like those are the two recognizable faces that you think of. I mean, the only way they could update the opening would be to use one of them. They can't just use some random part. Like, it has to be, like, someone who has they yeah. bleed Salem. <laughs> or made the Salem, you know, residents bleed. This, uh... <laughs> Sorry, it's going back to Sailor, Salem stalker days. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I feel like this was what the dual app series were trying to be. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like they were the test run, and this is this was like they were the soft launch, and this is like the main show. <laughs> yes, I, I would agree with that. Because essentially, the dual app series were also beyond Salem. Like they were not yeah. they were in New York and Paris, so, mm-hmm. um, which we covered. If you haven't watched what I watch, we did that as a lead up to this. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so we covered the first episode pretty um, yeah. and we love the opening, the our initial genuine reactions to everything. Um so I guess let's go on to episode two. Um what did you think about the whole Abe, Paulina, Lonnie, Eli getting robbed at the restaurant? It was, I love Paulina. Nothing she does, I mean, everything she does just makes me laugh. Even her getting robbed and just like with her and that diamond, like, nope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, in my mind, Abe is still a cop. I forget that he's the mayor or whatever he is now. <laughs> I, I sometimes forget he was a cop too. No, I didn't forget he was a cop. No, no, well, I I, I do. I just sometimes I forget because it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, these fools, they don't even know. They're robbing three cops right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they cared. And Pauline was not giving up that ring. 
<laughs> um, how did you feel that they were kind of showing with Paulina's face the whole um, Lonnie's her daughter thing? I had mixed feelings on that because I felt like if they weren't going to touch on that story, they shouldn't have like hinted at it on a different show. I'm not a fan uh, of that story at all in, in general. general. Now, I would be okay with it if Abe wasn't her dad, but I don't want to take that away. I love the relationship he has with Lonnie. So do I. And since Theo's gone, it's nice that he has a child there, which I'm sure they'll do this whole thing. It's like, no, blood's not the most important thing. You're still my daughter, blah, blah, blah. But still, I just like that. I like them as a father-daughter duo. And they did this story with Lexi. Yeah. Like Lexi found out after the fact that her parents weren't her parents. Her aunt Frankie Celeste it was her real mom. Like they they did this already. I am interested to see what they do when we find out. Because yeah, I'm sure it's going to be great Emmy worthy like crying material. Why, like why Abe? Why did Abe have? Why did you know Tammy pick Abe? Yeah. So it'll be interesting yeah. to see. Maybe it was all about timing and it just yeah, happened. yeah, yeah. So oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, it was interesting seeing Billy dressed up as Princess Gina, but I didn't need two episodes of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel you there. Mm-hmm. I was like, can we get her out of the wig already? <laughs> it was weird to see her with long hair though. Because I don't think I've ever seen Lisa Rinna with long hair. I've seen pictures, but I've never actually seen like her acting with long hair. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, she's pretty much like more or less kept the same hairstyle for like the last thirty years. You know what I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was good to see her. I didn't realize I missed Billy as much as I did until she popped up there. And I was like, oh my God, I miss Billy. It was nice that she had a story that didn't revolve around Bo, even though I miss Bo. Or how, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess it kind of. There's more storylines than love triangles. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she kind of got pigeonholed into that love triangle. Um, I personally Mm -hmm. loved her with Bo, like Lisa Renna's. Billy mm-hmm. with Bo when it was um, Robert Kelly Kelly. Not so much when it was Peter Ruckel. Um, yeah, I could say. Plus, when Stone came back, I was kind of like, you have to have Stone Hope. Yeah, there's no getting around it. Um, people had mentioned that they never even mentioned Chelsea. Well, I mean, I think of it this way when I go around relatives, I don't mention. Every single person, you know, yeah, it's her daughter, but oh, look, you're in hope. Ha- like, audition, uh, they mentioned it, they mentioned it on audition days. Mm-hmm. At, they, they were saying, Why wouldn't Sierra just say, Oh, this is my sister Chelsea's mom? Okay, I did see, I did <clears throat> hear that, and I was like, Okay, I, I can understand that, but has been met Chelsea. Okay, so then maybe that's why maybe she's I would think about. I mean, I've got siblings. I don't talk about that much, and people go, oh, you have a, you know. But I would think this is your husband. You've gone over your family tree, your immediate family, at least. <laughs> uh, you, you would think, but like sometimes... I have a half-sister, I have a brother. <laughs> my half-sister ran over my other little brother and killed him. <laughs> Not that well, that's not, that's not that. funny. That's not funny, but it's just like, oh my, when you think about it, you're like, oh my God. Yeah. Like crazy. Ed forever made me not like that character. Like I know people love the actress that played her. I just could not get past it. Yeah. I still have, it. it's kind of like Ava with Grandpa Sean. I still have and my honest, moments. And honestly, Bo and Hope never really recovered from it. Yeah. I don't think, no, they didn't. It was it was probably I don't want to say it ruined their relationship, but they did get end up getting divorced. And then he went to your favorite character, Carly. I can't help that. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, yeah, yeah. And by the time they reconciled and were good again, 
Bo left the shop. Mm -hmm. So they never really got right again after that story. I've still been waiting for Zach to be alive. I know. I, I've been really shocked they had, like, we didn't find out that, oh, when they switched the babies back, you were actually switching the wrong children and JT was actually your kid and, or something like that. Yeah. I, back, I was, to be, back to Beyond Tell we're like, oh, oh yeah. yeah we're like, from the actual show. <laughs> once again, uh, <laughs> we're talking about characters that weren't even on Beyond Tell. <laughs> I will say, one thing I loved about Beyond Salem was the humor. Yeah. It had some amazing one liners that if Days was to come over full time on Peacock, I would want them to be more like that. More I was often. kind of hoping since they were on streaming that they would drop drop like an f bomb here or there. It would I have been amazing if Marlena was the one to do it. I wonder if they're <laughs> just kind of like, okay, we don't want to scare people off thinking we're changing. You know, maybe that would come. Like if they or or Billy, like when Billy realized it was uh, Kristen that stole, if she could have just went like, fuck. <laughs> I can see Kristen <laughs> dropping a few. You know. Yeah. I did love their little exchange, like, oh, your crimes and da -da, when they were flopping back and forth. She's like, well, you slept with your daughter's boyfriend. They weren't together. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, and I know like, some people didn't like that. That was, I don't watch the housewives. So when I watched that scene, I didn't think housewives. I just thought it was fun. I think it may have crossed my mind, but I don't really watch it. I don't, yeah. I'm, I just, I just I'm, like a cat bite. So when there was water thrown in, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I enjoyed seeing Greg Rickard play Leo. I who, and who would have thought he'd save the world? I know. Right? <laughs> I, I was talking about this with my mom too, and my she found, she watched all five in on Saturday because I told her she had to watch it within the week it came out. That was my only rules for her. it's like mom. I know they typically count that first week as like the week, so you have to watch it. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna. So and she she enjoyed it. She she really, yeah, and she liked Marlena. Be, you know, having the opening, and she thought you know she thought it was real a lot of fun. I know a lot of people want Leo back full time. I don't. I really I love him. Small doses. Yes, it's he's like, like one of those characters that needs to be rested because if he's on all the time, it's just too much. It's like Kristen. I think like Kristen. Yeah, she just can't be like uber evil villain all the time. Mm -hmm. She needs to like go somewhere and let somebody else be crazy for a little bit. Because <laughs> <laughs> then the time it just gets like you know same stale. It's not it's not fun. I know. I think oh, everyone had the same reaction though when he brought out that file of like, "I've read your file," and I'm like, "I know." Dish and Days talked about too, and I I was right there with them when I was like, "Her file is that? Did we digitalize it, or like, part of it's missing? <laughs> this is just the high points, <laughs> you know?" Because I was like, "That's small." <laughs> um, loved Zach Tinker as Sunny. Okay, one adorable. He's really adorable um so i like that i like i actually i think i like him better than freddie i think i do too and i the only reason why i feel like i can say that without it being wrong is freddie doesn't want to come back you know he doesn't want to come back so he's moving on so i'm like okay he's fine with us liking someone else so i'm mm -hmm. like i think i like I don't and know he gave his blessing he gave his blessing wish some luck and crazy how they do look so much alike you think so? I think they do. Maybe it's just brunette guy. So I could see that. He looks like how Sonny looked when he first came on, I guess. Yeah. Now, I will feel like I feel like Zach did the dramatic scenes a little bit better than Sonny did because that first episode, he came out swinging. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh. He had the tears, the anger. I was like, all right. I was like, okay. Gen <laughs> Genoa City taught you right. Okay. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm ready for the main show. Come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, kind of thinking, okay, Will, come on, you got to keep up with Sonny. Because Zach Tinker was just, man, he was acting his ass off. Um, Sonny, Will, and Chad were work, had worked out. 
because when they had their arms like this, I was like, holy mm. guns. <laughs> I didn't notice that so much was with Chad or Sonny just because I don't really, this is the first I'm seeing Zach, but Will, I thought I was like, oh, okay, Will, you worked out. Okay. <laughs> See what you've been doing in Arizona, hitting the gym. Um, I did not know, and don't take my gay card away, that the drag queen that was dressed like oh, Lisa Brenna is from Drag Race. Yes. Yes. Yeah. My, my friend Kyle told me that. He was like, oh, I, I saw something that she was going to be on that. I was like, really? <laughs> I, I'm not shocked they did that just because she, uh, Jackie Cox uh, played, I think I'm saying Cox, but I mean, Co- I think it's just C-O-X. So mm-hmm. forgive my accent. Um, I'm going to blame it on that. Uh, she played Lisa Renna in their little parody of Match Game. And it, okay. it, yeah, I think that's how she kind of, okay. people noticed her as Lisa Renna. Because I sent him, I was like, does she typically do Lisa Renna? And he was like, I think so. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, I think <laughs> he might have. I didn't think she did, but I think she might. I think, yeah, I think Kyle's right, I believe. And I like the product placement of like mm-hmm. Lisa Renna's makeup line. <laughs> yeah. I love a good, if it's done well, if it's not done well, I don't want, care for product placement. <laughs> I'm speaking about you, One Tree Hill, season three, Sun Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I that's my favorite show, but I will definitely call them out for that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I, so was it just me or was the drag queen that was running the competition whose boobs were amazing? I was like, is that a breastplate? Or like <laughs> <laughs> when did you but, become a boob man? No. <laughs> was it me or were you getting like a a Jackie Harry vibe from her? Like, she was supposed to be, like, the drag queen version of her. I mean, now that you I, say I could, I could see it. That's I where can, my mind went, but I wasn't sure if that's what they were going for. I can definitely see it. Um, it's her mannerisms and the way she spoke. I was like, hmm. I, that scene, or that whole little segment where they're at the gay bar doing drag, I didn't know I needed that much. I didn't know I needed that in my life. <laughs> I did not know that I needed those three dressing up as drag queens in my life, but now I need it again. <laughs> or I need someone to mention, I need him to be like, Abigail, look what I did in Arizona. <laughs> you know, just so. <laughs> so I don't want to nitpick, but when they were doing the drag competition, I was like, Will couldn't have shaved his face. Will and Sonny couldn't have shaved their facial well, hair. Without. Zach was talking about the audition days and said it was because of, you know, how they filmed it out of order. So to keep it all, uh, like, I have to worry about that. Gotcha. So, and they were on time constraints. So, yeah. I kind of wish we just done those things like at the very end or something. Yeah. So we could have gotten the. I did like um, how Chad was like worried he wasn't going to be a pretty girl. That was my favorite part when he's like, <laughs> "What if I'm not a pretty girl?" I was like, "Oh, okay." I was what like, I was like, "I wonder what he's about to say." And then he said that, and I was like, "Oh, that's perfect." And then he was. Uh, like, and then another thing, as far as hair goes, I was like, you guys couldn't shave your armpits. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have a ton of time to get into drag, so I mean, it goes, does make sense. It's like, boom. Billy would have been flawless if he had shaved his armpits. <laughs> Not raise his arms. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> this whole routine required him to raise his arms. <laughs> yeah. But I did like the whole when he got the diamond, he was like looking into it like diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> so let's talk about the twist though. My, the twist. When I, well, oh, well, the Shane Donovan Drew twist. Because we're kind of catching was, on when he was like, I moved past Paige's death a while ago. Yeah, I, was like, mm-hmm. I thought it was weird. And when my mom was talking about, she's like, that's not Shane. I was like, I just went, how do you know? She's like, oh, I'm sure that's his twin brother, Drew. I was like, I couldn't remember his brother's name. I was like, oh, it's the twin. It's the twin. <laughs> My mom even remembered. She's like, he was there for six months. He wasn't there a long time. I was like, dang, mom. He was on He was on a few years ago. Yeah, but just for like a little guest. Oh, yeah. But I was just like, okay, for the newer viewers, we were still kind of shocked. But viewers who, I mean, they were still shocked because it was fun to see a picture that they don't see very often. Mm-hmm. 
I forgot. I did not know Shane had a twin. I'm not even going to lie. I forgot until he said the page thing, and I was like, mm, something's not right. I was like, I was like, mask? And then I was like, no, I was like, it's his twin. Is it sad that's the first thing we go to? Mask. <laughs> <laughs> well, because we've seen a lot of masks within the last <laughs> few years, so it just felt like it was a mask. Moment. <laughs> yeah. It's in their wheelhouse. <laughs> a mask. <moment. laughs> <laughs> Um, I was kind of sad Eileen Davidson was only in two episodes. I know, I, but I love that she brought the nun back because she hasn't played her since '98, I think. It's yeah. been a long time since she's played a uh, sister. Oh, no, no, no. I think she played her in 2017. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I she's like, love- oh, anytime she plays Susan or anyone from that family. It would have been nice to see her play Susan and not play. Uh, Kristen pretending to be Susan. Mm-hmm. Um, but whatever. Maybe we'll get her back for season two. I <laughs> wish I could have heard her say that Kristen is main, main, main. Because I just love them all. Can't help it. Um, yeah. Um, I was a little disappointed that some of the episodes were almost the same t- length as like the actual show. Mm-hmm. I was like, come on, you're on streaming. Like, load that thing up with as much content as possible. When I wasn't uh, Freddy 4 was some of the pacing of it, like it moved faster, which I know they only had five, de- five episodes, so I understand. But it just felt like they jumped like from boom to, you know what I'm saying? I did feel like that with some episodes and other episodes, I felt like it was a little slow. Like yeah. episode two, I felt like was a little bit slow and, and it was shorter. And I was like, come on, like do something. <laughs> oh, but man, the sex, we, we haven't even talked about the sex party. Like, oh my, I loved how Sierra was just kind of like, I feel like she's been to one of those parties. Cause she did not feel like anything bothered her. I was like, we can, we good. I, uh, I had mixed feelings about that because the whole Greta von Amberg, Greta was like Sierra's age 20 years ago. So Greta should be at least in her 40s. Yeah. They should have made her Greta's daughter. That would have been more believable. But I then like. if, if the, no one knows if Greta has a daughter, because I don't know if Greta has a... Does she have a daughter? Are you... I don't think. Are you pa? Oh, okay. I couldn't tell if you were paused or <laughs> thinking. <laughs> That's a character no. I would like to revisit. Swamp Girl. Really? No. Okay. I'm not a fan of her. Well, I, see, I remember. Me. I remember her just crawling around the swamp with the mud all over her face. <laughs> No, I wasn't a fan. Didn't they think she was Gina at one point before yeah. they handled the model? I think so. They thought she was actually Princess Gina. Real Gina. It's funny how much they play with the ages on. <laughs> They're just here and there with the ages when it comes to those characters. Yeah. I'm a fan of Princess Gina. Like I they did use they did use history though. And I'm a fan. I'm like you get major points for me. When you dig into the history. Um, even like mentioning um Lady Faversham, Lily Faversham, mm-hmm. who was See, I born during Prince coronation. See, I didn't know any of that. You don't remember her? Mm-mm. She was like an older woman. Mimi kind of like made friends with her. Yeah, I just I don't. I, I probably didn't watch. No. We I didn't tape it. I didn't start taping days until like the Se- Salem Stalker storyline, and that's where I was. Oh, for, okay. you know, I started, started taping it before I just watched it. Thick oh. days, holidays, summer. See that whole Greta coronation massacre thing was like the height of my watching. So All I was right. already send, like send me it. links. <laughs> send me links. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, I do like that they uh, the history. I was kind of disappointed that the bold actress 
is is just kind of i guess was for i know it felt like a wasted opportunity but she may now i'm I'm reading i've read on twitter recently that she there's rumors she might be coming to days as a different character i don't like that Uh, i don't like when we do that yeah hmm like you, they'll, uh, they'll probably change her hair color. <laughs> unless she says she wasn't who she said she was when she was in Beyonce. Okay, alum, see, that's what I Beyonce. was thinking we were going to find out is that she was some character for Salem that was ISA. Because pretty much, if you live in Salem, you can become an ISA agent like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once they recruit you, you're ISA. Because <laughs> I really feel like that that could really fix the hope problem for now. Just be like, she's deep undercover in an ISA mission. If she's exposed, her family will be, you know, in jeopardy. Because that's something hope would stay hidden to protect her family. Yeah. So what did you think of the finale? I enjoyed it. I... <laughs> that, that peacock. <laughs> I, I enjoyed loved, that it was a peacock because it was too. like a tie-in. I enjoyed that the, the colors, colors were, and then when they when he lit them on it, like it went the way of what NBC's logo would do. I was like, okay, clever, good work. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I love the mention. Like, oh my gosh, for years we've had the Brady and Damara feud. When I did not know we had this other feud with the Alamanes and the. Carly Manning and Frankie's real family. Where, yeah, why, why aren't we sharing some of that? I don't know if that was a thing or if that's something they just made I up. Think it, I think now. it's new, but that's what I'm saying. Like in the background, there's this feud that's been going on that could have been really great instead of Vivian just burying people alive again. Um, yeah, it makes sense. And I'm surprised they didn't mention Vivian. I'm, I'm kind of hoping she would make an appearance in at least the finale. Because they said there was like um, unannounced returns or people coming on. So Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, you were hoping for Carly. I was hoping for at least. Every day I got up hope. I was like, today's the day. Carly, Crystal Chappelle's (laughs) showing up. I know it. I know it. I was manifesting it. I was (laughs) praying. I was everything. I got her name. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. I got less than hope. At least hope I got a photo. They mentioned that she killed Lawrence, which I'm surprised stuck. <laughs> yeah. Good, a good thing Dr. Roth wasn't around then. He's Little shot. He has him stored away somewhere. <laughs> 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 so the finale for me was one of the episodes that I felt the pacing was a little weird. I, it went really fast because, I mean, they were trying to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. So I understand that, but. But I also think, I don't want to say I was disappointed. I liked it. But I felt like because it was the finale, I was just like, I was waiting for something more like a return. I, yeah, I was waiting for like some character that would, you'd have to follow to Salem. Yeah. It would show up at in beyond Salem somewhere and would follow I kept looking at the time, like seeing how much, like I was like, okay, there's like a minute left, because I thought that there would be a cliffhanger, something, just I like would, a little nugget, just I to, would, for season yeah. two, <laughs> I re- well, or even to lead you to days. Yeah, like that's what I was thinking was going to happen. Was something was going to happen that would lead us? Like something. it would have been fun if Sierra and then would have found some other little crystal or some kind of evil voodoo thing that they bring back to Salem. And that's how the possession storyline starts. How would you feel? Yes. If no, just they, if they put a chip in Sierra's brain and made her the new princess Gina or something like that. All right. That's going to happen. Cause it's so crazy. <laughs> so crazy. That is, I never would have pictured Steve having Stefano's essence in his body. So, you uh, know what? This isn't far from it. So, yeah. I can totally... It's it. yeah. yes, it <laughs> or it's like, oh, we can't get help back? Let's put a hope chip in Sierra's brain. So then <laughs> she's... Not only is she Sierra, she's also her mother. 
Do you know what I'm about today with the whole possession storyline coming about? Back when we had the Salem stalker mm-hmm. and we found out that it was Marlena, this never crossed my mind back then because I hadn't seen the possession yet. But I wonder if people were like, oh, she's possessed again. You know? To rationalize her being the killer. That would have been pr- a good way to do that. Like, not all Especially the devil. Especially since it was, it was James Riley writing at that point again. Okay. You know, yeah. I would have been behind that because that would have been really good. Yeah. Now so I basically part- really, like, rewrote that whole story in my head that she was possessed. <laughs> Well, I, I I could never figure out like what was the Demera's main reason for pretending to kill all those people to put them on an island that looks just like Salem. You I hate them that much. That but, story, so I really don't couldn't answer it for you. I, well, I watched the entire thing. I still can't like. It was just I think mind games or playing with them once again. I was hoping it would have been just like some legit thing. So overall, what is you what would how would you grade Beyond the Film? I'd give it an A. I'm not gonna give it an A plus because there were things that could be improved, but solid A. I'd agree with that. Um, it was a, a good first run out. Um, I really hope that it got the streams that it needs to get a season I did, two. <laughs> I did because I think Beyond Salem is fun. It's I mean the possibilities of what you could do. It's a fun concept. Yeah. I mean, there could be some kind of big storyline in uh, Johannesburg. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay. I'm always asking if I'm saying something right because I'm typically wrong. (laughs) Just any of the other. I mean, I wouldn't mind some kind of little supernatural mystery more in New Orleans or that. Yeah. All right. Well. I think I'm all beyond Salem Dow. That's all we've been talking about Salem for a week. Now, but what I think is, what I will think is the best thing about days right now is it was off for two weeks for the Olympics. Had the most press for, to me, a show that's a soap that wasn't even on the air. Then mm-hmm. they get all this beyond Salem press, and then they're like, "No, what? Third time's a charm. We bring in back the devil, and here's <laughs> some more press." And it's like Twitter was just everything I turned turned to was. Like, okay, the Beyond Salem press is dying down. Devil possession. Yeah. I'm like, what's next? <laughs> Did they hire a new PR person over there? <laughs> I know. They're, they're promoting it like me and Candace promote stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to all our Beyond Salem stuff. We hope you enjoyed it. And we hope that you enjoyed Beyond Salem as much as we did. Mm-hmm. Um Check out our YouTube page at Queers and Soaps. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and find us on all the socials at Queers and Soaps. Until next time, bye. Bye, everyone.